Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Sibbers. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the fourth space-based infrared system for the United States Air Force. You are hearing the voice of Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. SRB burnout shortly. Performance continues to look good. RD-180 chamber pressures continue to be steady. And we have indication of SRB burnout. Current altitude is 14 miles, downrange distance 11 miles, current velocity 2,622 miles per hour. Booster has throttled down as expected at this point in the mission. And the vehicle is now 50% its liftoff weight. RD-180 continues to perform well. Coming up on SRB Jettison. And we have indication of Jettison of the SRB. It's like a clean separation. New alpha closed loop steering has begun. Booster has begun roll bias pointing. RCS pyro valve has been firing. That uh, system is now pressurizing to flight levels. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 43 miles. Downrange distance, 94 miles. Current velocity, 6,691 miles per hour. Booster has throttled back, as expected. Currently, the vehicle is 25% its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment, whose space cooldown is underway. Valve has been fired. Now throttling to maintain 4.6 Gs. Blue space cooldown is complete. And we have Miko. We have stage separation. Box and fuel pre start on the RL10. GN2 purge firing is underway. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Yep. And we have payload firing jettison. 
communications are a good jettison.